Hey guys, it's Jack Punkington here, and when I decided to make this video, I decided to do it a certain way and then completely changed it, and I'll explain why. Um, a while back, I posted a video when the song I Am Machine by Three Days Grace kind of first came out, and how I compared it to Painkiller, which was the other single that had came out and how I preferred one over the other and how they were both nice but one complimented the singer the new singer's voice a lot more and how I couldn't wait to hear more from them. And then the song Human Race came out and I could not believe how perfect it was. At first I had heard part of it and I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I, I came into the song like halfway and I'm like, yeah, turn it off. But then when I actually sat down and started it, when that organ came in, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe how amazing that that song would hit me. Because I've been really, really depressed lately with a lot of stuff that I'm going through in my personal life, with work and with college and with my relationships with just my friends and my family and other people. And my living situation, I'm not technically homeless, but I don't consider where I live to be my true home. I consider my true home my car. Um, I'm moving, hopefully soon. Uh, nothing against my family. I love them to pieces, but um, I'm 20 years old. I'm going to college, and I have my own job. I pay my bills. I kind of want to move out just because it'll be... The bills and the responsibilities are on me and my roommates, but the freedoms I have will outweigh that. It just means I have to put more time in work, which is fine. And I have to sacrifice some things, which is understandable and fine. Anyway, Human Race came out, and I had sat down, and I immediately wanted to make, of it, make this video. But then I heard the full album had came out. And I decided I wouldn't do it until I listened to the full album. And I listened to it today while I was doing homework at 8 o'clock this morning. If anyone is wondering, it's 10.52 at night. I always record my videos at late. And first, Human Race was the first song on there. It was the intro song, and you can say it is the title track. And perfect intro, followed by Painkiller. Which wasn't my favorite, which, again, still not one of my favorite songs by them. But it does kind of show, you know, that, hey, they could do different things. And then, you know, there's the rest of the songs on there. Uh, Car Crash is, like, the only one I can think of besides I Am Machine. That was, I mean, they were all really good. I just only think of Car Crash because I thought it was such a weird title. Uh, Fallen Angel was really good. Uh, I think there was one called Nothing Left or There's Nothing Left For Me or something like that. And the whole album lasted, I think, about 40 minutes. And this is my album review of it. I think, in my own opinion, this is a better album than Transverse of Venus. And the reason why I say that is because Transverse of Venus was a experimental. And that's good and bad at the same time. And B, it was Adam's goodbye. Also, Matt co-wrote the album. You know, Adam quit that tour. And no, he didn't get fired. He quit. He left because he didn't want to do it anymore. You know, he said it was for vocal reasons that he was sick, but no, he just didn't want to do it, which is fine, you know. Different, I've been in bands where we break up over stupid crap, and he just did. The reason why I say it's better than Transverse of Venus is because it goes back to their roots. Yes, every band eventually does that. Yes, I think they should have done that, and I'm glad that it worked out the way it did. 
Now, it went back to the roots, but it had a change because it has a different perspective. It has a new face, a new idea behind it. And there was a really good quote um, that I saw when I was watching a live performance of Three Days Grace with their new singer. They were performing one of their most famous old songs, Never Too Late. And it was about not giving up. And Matt had said, who is the new lead singer, Three Days Grace will never give up on you. And he was speaking to the crowd. And I thought that was amazing. He wasn't saying, I will never give up on you, stating that I am better, or I'm not going to quit, because I don't want to. He was saying, the band will always be there for you. The band will always make music for you as long as they can, which I felt was really cool. You know, he wasn't comparing himself to Adam. He was setting the stage for, it's my time, and I'm going to make the most of it. When Painkiller came out, he wrote that song. He wrote Painkiller. And he came out, I was listening to an interview with the drummer, which is his older brother, I think. And he wrote the bone, like, I think he phrased it, the backbones of the song, which is, like, the words and probably some of the riffs. And, again, it's not my favorite, but the fact that he wrote it, really, and they wanted the song out as fast as possible so we could hear what they were coming up with and the new face and the new ideas. Again, comparing it to Transverse of Venus, I, at the time, I was in love with that album. And I still love that album. But it was experimental. It was trying more audio stuff with dubstep integrated into it. Yes, I love that album to death. But Human Race has topped that album as my favorite album. That's a strong word, strong phrase to say that Three Days Grace's newest album is my favorite. Because I've been there since 1X. And I've listened even to the album, I've listened to the album Three Days Grace, which is their first album. And, you know, before that, uh, Transverse of Venus was tied with Three Days Grace as my favorite album. And now Human Race tops them both because it is so versatile, yet it still sticks to the roots, it's still heavy, it's still fantastic, and it portrays the strengths of each player and the new singer, and they all just fit so perfectly. I give it a rating out of a 10 out of 10. In my opinion, if you love Three Days Grace, pick it up and try it. If you don't like them, or if you love, if you're a diehard Adam fan, that's fine. At least give it a chance. You know, it's on YouTube, so just listen to it. Um, if you are new to it, it's a great album to start on. Uh, I do suggest listening to their old stuff, but definitely check it out. But any hardcore fan or just fan who likes the music, buy the album. It's great. Or at least listen to the full album on YouTube. It's free. There's just some weird tricks. You know, speed it up or something. I don't know. But listen to it. It's a great album. Three Days Grace, I love you guys. Keep on doing what you're doing. And this is a shout out to the Three Days Grace Army who followed me on Twitter. I love you guys too. I'm a part of the army. Hope you guys watch this video and enjoy it. Peace.